Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since I've posted anything. Uh, so today, I thought I would show you guys how I make my little breakfast egg cups, um, or frittatas, if you want to call them that. Very simple recipe. Um, I grab two of these every morning, take them to work, heat them up, pop them in the microwave. They're delicious. Uh, and there's variations that you can make. There's all kinds of different ways to make them. Um, I do mine with bacon. Sometimes I make them with sausage. Today, I'm going to actually do mine with bacon, a little sharp cheddar cheese, and I'm going to put jalapeno peppers in mine, too. I had some left over from the huge big batch that my Aunt Trish gave to me, um, and I froze some of them. So these are the ones that I've had that were in the freezer. I pulled them out and thawed them out. So we're going to do that. And, of course, eggs. Um, I only use six... six I only use 10 eggs in my recipe. Uh, the lot of recipes call for 12. I have found that 12 causes my muffin cups to overflow and make a huge mess. So I only use 10 eggs in this recipe, especially once you get all the other goodies in there. Um, once you get all the other goodies in there, you're gonna have a fuller, fuller cup. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to turn the camera around here, and hey, I've missed you guys. I'm sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. I've just been, you know, it's just life, you know, just been busy. Um, but I'm so glad that I'm able to do this for y'all today, and I hope you enjoy um, watching me make these egg frittatas. And here we go. So what I did is I had, um, I don't know about y'all, but when I go to the store, um, I buy regular bacon. I do not care for a thick cut bacon simply because I have not mastered how to cook it, I don't guess, properly. Um, but, uh, you know, I go to Walmart. Do I do grocery pickup a lot. And um, they actually were out of regular bacon, so they substituted me uh, thick cut. So what I did is I went ahead, and I'm sure you can see in the pan here, that I'm frying it up. I went ahead and I went ahead and took about six pieces of um, the uh, thick cut bacon. You may use regular cut, of course, because that's what I would have used had I um, had I had it. Sorry, I'll trying to get this camera where y'all can see. So I'm just I've chopped it into small little pieces, and now I'm just cooking it up. So while this is cooking up, I'm going to get my eggs ready to go in this bowl for the uh for the eggs so okay so like i said in my video earlier i'm gonna only use 10 eggs in this so i've got a 12 cup pan uh muffin pan that's what i'm gonna use let me grab a napkin to put these shells on I am not a, a real uh, a real clean egg cracker, y'all. I make a mess. But we're going to take 10 eggs. And I love this recipe. It fills you up. It's actually no carbs. So for those of you on a keto or a low-carb diet, this is perfect for y'all. Uh, they are quite delicious. Um, my boys, actually, after they work out... These are great for them, too, because of all the protein they have in So, but uh, I don't know about y'all, but it has turned cold here. Uh, we're only going to be in the 50s today, I believe, and I absolutely love it. Because y'all know mama here, hot mama over here sweats. Six, seven, eight. I cannot tell y'all the last time I actually wore a sweater. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm so hot. A lot of it's the meds I have to take for my, my uh, breast cancer stuff. So a lot of times, I, I mean, I literally just sweat. But um, I couldn't tell you the last time I wore an actual sweater. So, all right. So I've got all my eggs here. Let me go take these and throw them away real quick. I know some boys that need to take trash out. All right, so. I'm 
We're gonna whisk these babies. Constantly stir your baking, guys. Get it crisp. I like to make this with sausage, too. Um, but I have found when I use the um, jalapeno peppers, you can taste them better if it's the bacon. So, I'm going to whisk, whisk, whisk. And I am going to add a little garlic powder and onion powder and pepper just to give it a little bit of a flavor. I'm not going to add much because I don't want it to... I mean, this is a breakfast food, so you don't want it to be too, too, you know too overpowering so I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle or two of garlic powder in there get some onion powder put a little bit of that in there and then grab some pepper maybe a little salt that's my salt I'm not gonna put too much salt because bacon's so salty pepper good little a little jigger jigger of pepper. I tell you what, I think I'm going to fry me an egg in this grease after all this bacon gets cooked. Ooh, I love a fried egg in bacon grease. Do y'all, I call it a dirty egg. I don't know if y'all ever heard it called that, but I love it. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put, I've got jalapeno peppers. You can put um, bell pepper in here. You don't have to put peppers in it at all. I sometimes make it with no peppers at all. But I have these beautiful jalapeno peppers, y'all. Um, my ex-husband, Lee, his aunt and I are still close. And um, she had a garden, and she had a, just a plethora of um, jalapeno peppers. Y'all, they were beautiful. And I took the time to make candied jalapenos and I did a homemade pepper sauce and vinegar. So um, I have just enjoyed these peppers so much. So I'm gonna put some of those in here. I got a bag of cheese. You can use sharp, you can use mild, you can use whatever you got on hand. Y'all, I don't measure this out. I'm just gonna take a couple handfuls of cheese. Two handfuls of cheese is probably plenty. And I'm going to whisk all that in real good. See how pretty that is? See those green peppers in there, y'all? Yeah. Ooh, it just makes it taste so good, those green peppers. And I think a red bell pepper, yellow, or, you know, a green bell pepper would probably really be good in this, too. Um, all right, I think our bacon's just about done. It looks, you want it crispy because you're, oh, I forgot to turn my oven on, y'all. Let me get my oven on, 350. 350. Um, but yeah, for um, gotta have your bacon crispy because you're putting it into a to a, uh, a mixed up uh, wet. You're putting it into a wet batter, so you gotta have your bacon crispy. All right, let me turn that bacon off. <clears throat> we are good to go. Ooh, y'all, I love bacon. Do y'all love the smell of bacon as much as I do? I just bacon means breakfast to me. Uh, that and, and you know <laughs> sausage too but my uh, my family well the kids they prefer really bacon over over sausage um, they will eat sausage biscuits things like that but um, they do prefer bacon I believe they they eat it up I know that so this is like I said this was about six strips of bacon I'm saving that grease y'all I'm gonna fry me an egg up in that um, <clears throat> But uh, that's six pieces of bacon. And that, you know, may not be enough. But you know what? We're going to say it is. And I'm going to mash this down with a paper towel. And I'm going to crumble it even more. Little tiny pieces. And I'm going to go ahead now. And I'm going to spray my muffin tin with my... Spray good, y'all. This cheese will stick. It will stick, and it is a booger. It is a booger to clean up these things if they get stuck. Oh, my eyes are smoking. What have I done? All right. So, I'll tell you what, I might take my knife and just go over my bacon real quick with it. 
get some of these larger pieces cut up. I discovered these. My sister Veronica was the one that was telling that told me about these. She makes them for work, and they're so convenient, y'all. I put two of them in a um, Ziploc baggie and put them in the fridge. And then in the mornings before we go to work, I'll grab a bag with two of them in it, and voila, you got your breakfast. So, all right, here's that pretty bacon going in. Get that whisked in. See how pretty that is? Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Now, y'all know that I am a huge fan of a um, ice cream scoop. That is my go-to for anything I have to put the muffins in. And I'd be happy if I could find it. Here it is. So, let's see here, guys. I'm going to let y'all watch while I put this frittata and I'm gonna leave my whisk in it because I might need to whisk it as I go you want to make sure you get all the goodies oh y'all can't see me hold on let's do this let's move this here now is that better let's see if I can get a better better view here I'm sorry y'all here we go all right so you're just gonna take a scoop and you're just going to pour it in that cup. And you do not want this all the way to the top, y'all. Because if it goes all the way to the top, it is going to spill over. So that is why I only do uh, <clears throat> 10 eggs at a time. Most of these recipes call for 12. I just don't like having that mess spilling out all over in my oven myself. I don't like cleaning my oven as it is. So it's just one of those chores us ladies most of us ladies hate to do, and I know I do. So I don't, what y'all having for dinner tonight? I, I think I'm going to do, a, um, I had some leftover dressing that I, from what I made a couple weeks ago. Hey y'all, I have to apologize for that. I don't know what happened. I was just talking away and cooking away, and apparently my video had cut off and <laughs> I didn't have anything there. So what I did is I finished filling up those cups with the egg mixtures, made sure they were pretty even, and I popped them into my 350 degree oven. I put my timer on 12 minutes. We're going to check it at 12 minutes. Um, as I said, that did not record. You want to make sure your eggs are done, but you don't want them to be too done. Um, there's nothing worse than an overdone egg. So you want them to be at a soft scram scrambled egg consistency. So when you check them, and I'll check them at 12 minutes, they probably won't be ready. It usually takes around 15 to 20 minutes for these to cook. Um, I'll just kind of touch the top. If you see any liquid, you know you've, you've still got time. Uh, but when you touch it, it's just still kind of soft, but yet not liquidy. You bring them on out because you're going to be reheating these. I'll put these uh, two at a time in a Ziploc baggie in the fridge. And in the mornings, I'll grab me a baggie full uh, with two of the frittatas in it. And off to work we go and I pop them in the microwave and they're really good and filling and delicious and all that good stuff um, so right now they're cooking I am actually going to eat me uh, an egg fried egg I told you I was gonna fry it in that uh, grease I did and I'm fixing to sit here and eat it uh, while these are cooking when I bring them out I'll show you guys what they look like when they come out of the oven uh, and the consistency that you need for them. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with you in just a little while. All right, guys, here is the finished product. They just came out of the oven. I just popped them out of the muffin pin tins. And just so you know, um, these are kind of hard to get out of a muffin tin. You're going to have to get a knife and circle around it to pop them out. But, I mean, just look. You can see the pretty peppers and the cheese and you know when they came out they were puffed up real high as soon as i brought them out to cool a little bit they poo went right back down they're a little misshapen a little odd looking but i tell you what they are absolutely delicious y'all you can't go wrong with these frittatas so i hope that y'all enjoyed watching me fix these quick and easy little frittata egg egg cheese and uh, bacon frittatas um i will put these in little ziploc baggies i'll put two in a bag stick them in the fridge and in the mornings i grab them and stick them in my lunch box and head to work and that's what i eat at work so it's very quick and very easy uh tonight for supper i think i have some leftover dressing uh that i did a couple weeks ago 
I think we're gonna heat that up. I'm gonna fry some okra. I've got some fresh okra that was frozen. I'm thawing it out right now. And I think I'll do some mashed potatoes and some yeast rolls, and that's gonna be dinner tonight. And I might do a little video of me frying the okra just to show some of y'all how I fry my okra. Uh, very, you know, very easy to fry okra. It's not hard at all, but it's so, so, so good. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed week, uh, work week this week. Um, y'all, tomorrow's Tuesday. It's a big, big day in this country. Um, get out there and vote. You know, I love all of you, whether you vote red or whether you vote blue. It, you know what? We're all God's kids, all God's children. Uh, so, you know, I may not understand your views on things just as you probably don't understand some of mine, but that's okay. We don't all have to agree with one another, but we can all be kind to one another and we can all help out one another. Uh, so get out there and vote. Very, very big day. Because um, frankly, if you don't get out and vote, you have no right to complain about anything that goes on in this country. And that's just the way I feel about it. But anyway, once again, uh, I will pray for each and every one of you. I'm sending hugs to each and every one of you. And um, I hope that I've made you smile today. I hope you have a great, great week. And I will, <laughs> hey, be back with you sometime later.